Hi guys, welcome to another quick episode of uh, this video blog. Today I'm going to share something really cool with you. Uh, and it's my harmonica. Uh, actually, it's like eight years back. My wife gave me a present. This really nice looking harmonica from a German company called Seidel. I'm not sure how you pronounce them properly, but that's how it looks. It's a really beautiful piece of equipment. Uh, it sounds fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a really really good instrument, and I was super happy with it. Uh, I was attending uh, harmonica classes, that's why I got the present, uh, and I haven't been using it for quite a while. And uh, now we moved to Sweden, um, and I actually started to unpack the the boxes I had, and you know I found the box with all my harmonicas. And I wanted to take a look at them, make sort of inspection, and yeah, maybe play a bit. And uh, I found out that uh, my lovely harmonica got a crack. I don't know if you can see it, yeah? You should be able to see it right here. You see the wooden part got a crack. Everything else remained intact, no problems with it. It looks really good and, and sounds fantastic. And actually this crack doesn't affect anything uh, for me. But, I mean, what the hell? It's, it's a good looking instrument and it would be nice to have it uh, back to the proper shape. So I wrote an email to the, uh, to the support uh, at Seidel from their website uh, and uh, told them the, the situation which I had and I told them, you know, it's, uh, it's not been new and I don't have a receipt anymore. But they were so awesome that today I received this package from them. Uh, and I wanted to share with you the contents and uh, maybe actually do the replacement of the how do you call it, the comb of the harmonica. So let's see what's in the package. And of course I've pre-opened it because I was so excited about it. And here we go. No, that's my old harmonica, <laughs> another one from the same brand. And I really like this one in particular. It's, it's a really good fit uh, for the hand. Um, it sounds also very nice and uh, very good. I was learning to play with this, I mean, it's steel and plastic. If it will drop, nothing will happen with it. While this one is more like, you know, an instrument you wouldn't like to drop at all. So this is a great thing to, to, to learn. So I got, uh, I got this uh, nice envelope and it was super fast. I think it took like three days or so for it to be delivered. And that's what I got in the box. Uh, I got these beautiful pins from Seidel. Uh, I got a rubber band. So like a wrist uh, band. I'm not sure I will wear this one, but it's nice. Uh, I got a new comb for my harmonica, and that's what we will explore today. Uh, you know, it's it looks it looks awesome, but I would like to take a closer look at it and maybe share it with you guys. And I got three stickers of uh, ah, pretty cool. You know, free merch. It's 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 really nice. I mean specific brand, but it's, it's, it's so nice of them to put this. Uh, uh, and especially appreciate very much the, the part I needed uh, the most here. So let me open this. I don't know what's the right way to do it, but uh, what the hell, just, you know, cut it like that. And uh, open it. And there is a part number here, I think. Selling copper, 1847 classic. But uh, this is the comp. It's wooden. Feels very light, very well uh, processed wood. And I would like to actually, these parts are covered with some sort of a lac. It's, uh, I think it's slightly different. Yeah, it's slightly different from the from the one I have. You see, the one I have is uh, the redwood. Really good, by the way. And this one is something else. Yeah, this one is a bit simpler than the than this one. But it's covered with uh, some sort of a protective coat there. Ah, okay. This side doesn't have the the saddle on it. And the 
comb it has the lac inside i guess to protect it from the moisture uh, this part is also covered with lac and the holes here they are very interesting uh, they are it seems like they are not drilled but laser burned or maybe like it seems like they burn through I, I have to look at it, uh, I have to take a closer look um, at it, maybe under the microscope. But so far it looks very interesting. Take a look at that. From the technology, it, I mean, it's machine made for sure. You could see the, the quality of surface, you could see the distance between the, uh, these things here. It's very even, the holes are drilled with a very high precision. I mean, they have manufacturing of this. But I'm really interested about the holes, how they're made. Maybe we'll take a closer look inside of one of those. But what I'll try to do now is I'll try to uh, actually replace it. And I mean, the red wood fits this harmonica really well. It's a bit of a shame that it's a white piece. I don't even know if I want to do that, but ah, what the hell. So I have the tools here. I don't know which tools I'll need, but I got the, the screwdriver here. I hope it's a simple operation. Never done this before. And replacing the comp might be a big thing, but we'll see. So I'm just uh, opening it up. And I will try to do it in a way so I could assemble it back in exactly the same order that uh, I'm opening it. So here we go. I'll put this one to one side with the little screws here. I'll put the second part aside. All these little nuts here. These nuts are really good. And I mean, you could look at this. It's a super, super high quality stuff. So here's the, the comb itself. It might be a bit dirty, but I mean, what the hell again? It's a harmonica. So if I'm holding it like that, I think it should be like so. Yeah. And then we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four other bolts to put in yeah this matches quite good yeah it's definitely not the same feel but let us um, actually take a look inside here and see if this how severe is the damage? Because I mean, if the damage is not severe, we'll see. So let me put this one like that as well. Just to open, undo the, these little bolts here. This one is done, this one is done. And I'm using the, uh, ah, you can't read anything here, but it's a Phillips head here, a regular one. Now look at that one. This one is quite damaged. Damn it. You see it was holding tight before I opened it. But now it's a bit uh, 
damage here. Okay, now you can see why this one, this crack didn't affect anything, because it's actually not going into the into this uh, kind of area where the air gets in. That's why it did not affect it that, mu that much. But this is a bit of a shame. This part is broken. I mean, probably I could, you know, use some glue and fix it, which I'll maybe do. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful piece of, of wood. It's a bit fragile. It's a very hard wood, it seems like, but it's also very fragile. That's why it got cracked somehow. I can't imagine how it happened. Yeah. And you could also see the technology has changed significantly since that time. Uh, the holes here, they are... Uh, let me see if I can focus. The holes here are a bit like long, longer than the, or like, it's not the, the, the round holes. They are a bit like a oval shaped. I wonder how did they do those? I guess it's a little uh, over haze. I don't know how to say it in English. I mean, this uh, vertical, like, you know, you, they use it on CNC machines, this thing. Uh, in here, it's quite different. This really seems like a laser burn things. And the holes are different on, on different sides. Here they are more like a, just the round holes. In here, you see each hole has a small thing at the top. And I think that's part of the technological process of how they produce these holes. Maybe that's the place where the laser gets in. I have no clue. If you guys know, please leave a comment down below. It's quite interesting, I think, from the technology, technological perspective, how they do it. So what I'll do, I'll try to assemble it back now. And it should be like so. This uh, matches perfectly. Uh, the harmonica, Ooh, how do I do that? No, no, that was not a good idea. Uh, it was like so, and then one goes in here. It's quite easy to spot the place for it. Yeah, you could definitely see it's not at the noble instrument anymore. Doesn't look like it, but it will work, you know. Maybe I'll work a bit on the fix of this one as well. Let's see. So I think there should be a special way how you tighten these bolts. I'll go with the diagonal pattern here and also do it uh, just very gently in the beginning. very gently now and uh, the good thing to do is actually to scroll it kind of back until you hear the little click that's when the the bolt gets into the threads and then uh, proceed tightening it up all right now you can uh, apply the same diagonal pattern but to just make it a bit more tighter should not be super tight because the adhesion here of the plate to the wood is quite nice anyways. I think it's quite easy to overdo it, so I will actually loosen it a little bit. Just to make sure that it's not tight at all, just a little bit tight. I don't know if I would have the micro, uh, you know, one of those that measure tension in Newton meters. I would say this would be half of one Newton meter, probably. Now let's go with these plates. Yeah. All right, I hope I'm still making it right. If 
first put the, the nuts in um, and then we'll put the, the bolts from the other side. And the same thing here. I think with the plastic you could go a bit tighter and uh, yeah, apply a bit more force. But with the wood, it's such a fragile material. You don't want to overdo it. Maybe the thing I have not done is maybe put a little small drop of like a light strength uh, thread lock on this bolt, but I don't know, maybe it's even a bad idea. This should not get loosened in any case yeah all right so this is how it looks yeah it's definitely not as good as it used to be but it will work all right yes works fine great so that's it guys, uh, if you found something useful, hit that like button. If you know how they made those holes, please leave comments down below. It's super interesting for me to learn that and to know that. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.